I'm extremely pleased uh, for this team. They've had a rough go this season, but one thing's never wavered is their effort. And I thought today it just seemed like maybe a, a great deal of the frustration for the last two months was released by everyone. Uh, to have six players in double digits, uh, to shoot over 50 percent, to have, you know, Liv Roberts a double-double with uh, points and rebounds. Markel one assist shy, and I know which one she probably wants back because she knew it was going to be an easy one. And uh, that just says a great deal. I thought that we started out sluggish. Uh, that could be with all the emotions of senior day. Uh, we gave up 16 points in the first four minutes trying to zone. Uh, we switched to man, and we gave up two minutes the rest of the or two points the rest of the quarter. I thought Skylar Snodgrass gave us a big lift in the second quarter when we needed somebody to be able to shoot the ball against their zone, and her nine points uh, really set the tone. And then you know his score is very deceiving. It was six points going into the fourth quarter, and we had to step up. We had to make plays, and I thought our tempo really started to have an effect of getting to the basket, attacking the basket, and getting some easy baskets. Things don't always go well for seniors on senior night. Obviously, this is a pretty good script for Markel to kind of go out. On. Yeah, I, I am, couldn't be happier for Markel. Uh, she has carried such an emotional load all season long, uh, for one, it being her senior year, uh, the young group that we have, the loss of her senior teammate, Jordan Kelly. Uh, Markell's had to step up, and for her to do this on senior night, uh, she controlled the game, uh, shot the ball extremely well, uh, five of nine from the field, two of three from three, nine assists. Uh, she was typical Markell tonight, uh, but I was very pleased with the effort she gave, because it can be very emotional. You mentioned Skyler giving you a lift, but 37 points, that's in the first half, that's what you scored in the first meeting down there total. What was it, just ball movement? Was a player stepping up at the end of the clock, which you've been harping on quite a bit this yeah, season? One of the things we talk about is taking the opportunities that are there. And tonight, we shot the ball well. Uh, that seems to be whether or not we're on the winning end or losing end. And it's not about, well, do you need to shoot 52% like we did tonight? It's we got to get rid of the three for 20 from three nights, the four for 20. Tonight, we're 10 of 25 again. Uh, when you think about making six or seven more threes, those points add up in a hurry. And we have very good shooters. Now, we look a little different out there on the court sometimes because we have to invert things. We have our guards on the inside, and we have our big kids on the outside. But we get this done, and uh, then I think feeding or shooting becomes contagious. That once you start making shots, uh, everybody seems to start making shots. And tonight, everybody stepped up and played really well, and played well defensively. We have to do a better job defensive rebounding, and that's something we always talk about. And uh, we'll get there. But I was going to say, though, you know, the first game they just crushed you guys on the boards. So I guess. At least you held your own in this. It felt like you held your own in this one. Well, you know, UNLV is a great rebounding team. Uh, if I remember the statistics correctly, they're about 100 offensive rebounds more than their opponents in conference play. That's six extra a game. So when you take a look at it, they got eight more than we did tonight, but we also shot 52%. When you shoot a high rate, there's not as many opportunities. So I thought we did a good job. Uh, we need to do a better job. Giving up 15 opportunities is too many. And when we can go one and out, we get pretty good. I guess you got, you got one game left in the regular season. It's a quick turnaround. you got to go head out to San Jose State. You know, we were talking with the girls. They remembered that first game against UNLV. I would imagine you remember that first game against San Jose State as well. Uh, you know what? San Jose State plays at a, a very fast-paced game. They like to get up and down the floor. They like to press. They want to shoot threes. So the pressure is immense. Uh, we're also not at home. Uh, as you could tell today, the crowd was awesome. Uh, they give you energy. Uh, over 3,200 people in the building. I can't say enough about the Wyoming fans because they have found how much they just care about this group. And they want to win as much as we do. And sometimes it just isn't in the cards. But they're always there. And to see the support, uh, the line to, for autographs wrapped around the court today, 
I don't know if anybody left before Markel was done speaking. And I can't say enough about our fan base. But it's going to be a challenge with San Jose. They play well, they shoot well, and we're going to have to be, once again, a different game plan and see how well we execute it. Will be one where you maybe have to reverse what you did today. You pushed to get them tired, but now you got to kind of slow down San Jose. You know, one of the things is playing here at altitude is a real thing. And we like being able to push the basketball. You can see when all of a sudden it seems like we're getting a little bit of an edge in transition. Uh, it's going to be a different game down there with San Jose. Uh, they will press us. And that's going to be a thing we have to take care of the basketball. But if we get the production we did tonight, the balance that we had tonight, the biggest thing I look at is our leading scorer is Markel with 16, and our sixth player has 10. That's a balanced effort, and we're going to need that not only Tuesday at San Jose, but when we go into conf or the tournament play, uh, it becomes a challenge. I just wish we could play them all at home, as every coach does. I was going to say, you know, you probably would have liked to have had one more break during the regular season, but the way it sells, the way it falls, is it is, at this point now? Is it okay to have that week off? I, I, you, know? you know what? I think it's sixes. Uh -huh. There's some coaches that say I'd like to have the time off. Uh, to rest up. Then if you don't play well in the tournament, as a coach, you turn around and go, the time hurt me. Uh, if you play on Friday, you're going to go, oh, we're tired. Uh, it's when young people want to be focused and they want to play, they all can be very good. And I thought today we were focused.